Warning, 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 warning. This is the prophetess of the Most Highest God. Brethren, today is June 12, 2022. God has given me an urgent message to bring forth. Please listen, receive, and obey. The wicked generations. I am the great I am and the bright and morning star. I am he who was and is and is to come. I am the Alpha and Omega, the one who has come in the flesh. I am coming. I am here. I am here to give warning to all my beloved followers and my bride and body. The wicked generations began in 1960s, 70s, 80s, 90s. The generations which did not care for nothing, just desired sin and the flesh, cared not for the spirit. They walked in the flesh and not in the spirit, did not care for their souls. This is the generations I spoke about in my holy word. These generations are the ones which brought sin to so strong into the world. Drugs, free love, diseases, guns, rifles. Um, knives, machetes, rock and roll music, demonic music, into the world. Self-destruction came through these generations. It is by these that I have judgment, that I bring judgment to this world. And my young people who choose to follow these vipers, shall receive the very same judgment as they. Repent, 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 viperous generations, for the time and the day draws nigh for your judgments. I, Jesus the Christ, shall bring it unto all which will not repent and turn from their sins. Ye shall die and perish in your sins, and ye shall burn in the everlasting fire, hell. I am giving ye all a chance to repent before I come and take up my bride and body and bring down my fierce judgments. Warning. From Father God. Time 3 19 p.m. Bible will says this meaning for 3 19. Hold on. Yet if you warn the wicked and he does not turn from his wickedness nor from the, his wicked way, he shall die in his iniquity, but ye have delivered your soul. Ezekiel 3.19 Beloved, you cannot ignore this any longer, for God is going to bring down his judgment. This is the word of God and the words he spoke to me today. Shalom, be blessed, and we are out of here. As soon as those missiles, nuclear missiles go up and come down, we are out of here. Be blessed.
Why does the war in Ukraine open the door for the apocalypse and a planetary catastrophe at the level of Noah's flood? Because during this war, for the first time in the history of mankind, thousands of ballistic and cruise missiles began to be used. For this evil, nature and God will begin to repay the same, the collapse of asteroids, because a man reaps what he sows. People will faint from terror, apprehensive of what is coming on the world, for the heavenly bodies will be shaken. If a man sows cruise, ballistic missiles, chemical, bacteriological, nuclear weapons, then he will reap rockets from the sky, and the answer will be the seven trumpets of the apocalypse, which clearly show what kind of harvest will come to a man. Contaminated rivers, scorched earth, hail and fire from the heaven, the death of a third of mankind. Prophecy and the Bible clearly predict these events. These crimes against humanity open the door to the wrath of God at the level of doomsday and the end of the world. Asteroids and meteorites, like celestial rockets, will become a fiery weapon of retribution, which will first of all fall on evil and godlessness on the planet. Such an unthinkable scale of the use of ballistic and cruise missiles, which fly to Ukraine every day from distances of hundreds of kilometers, opens the doors of the spiritual world for catastrophic fiery collapses of celestial bodies. As it's written in the Bible that the stars will fall from the sky and the powers of heaven will be shaken. What let the first planetary catastrophe happen? The sins of the people were piled up to heaven and Noah's flood occurred. Also, the sins of the people led to the destruction of Sodom and Gomorrah by fire from heaven. When punishment does not occur on earth, it will certainly come from heaven. The sky will not be silent. By logical probability, strikes from heaven will be carried out on the places of sin. This will be the day of God's wrath and judgment. This is the time of the trumpets and bowls of the apocalypse. We should understand that sin is not unpunished, sins accumulate, and when they reach fullness, then the wrath of God is poured out. And there is the only one question, on what generation will it be poured out? For understanding, we have the Bible, this is a history of thousands of years, showing how the wrath of God was poured out on those nations in which the cup of their sins and iniquities accumulated and overflowed. They were the ones who got punished. Therefore, you need to carefully study history, to understand what kind of people you live in, on what land, what spirit dominates this territory and what spirit the people are driven by. Lest this cup of God's wrath be poured out on you and your generation. After all, it is clear that some powers and peoples are in curses, in wars and bloodshed for decades, centuries, while others are in blessing. This shows what kind of spirits dominate and reign on this earth. In this film you will see how and for what a catastrophe of a planetary scale will come. We weren't taught in schools that the world was already falling apart because of the sinfulness of mankind. And as a result of godlessness, atheistic upbringing and the imposition of our animal origin on us, we again approach the dangerous edge of destruction. More than 2,500 years ago, a prophecy about our time was uttered. This prediction clearly describes what will happen in the last days. All of the above coincides with the time in which we live now. This is the prophecy of Daniel about a statue, the parts of the body of which meant the great world empires and reigns changing on the planet Earth. The head of the image is Babylon, the chest is Medo-Persia, the thighs are Greece, the legs are the Roman Empire, and the feet are the fifth reign, signifying our time. All world history has developed in accordance with this prediction. Historical facts and events confirm this prophecy to be fulfilled. All these great powers replaced each other up to the present day. And if everything had not been fulfilled in such accuracy and sequence, then the prophecy wouldn't have been so weighty. But when for thousands of years every word, of which the man of God spoke and prophesied, comes true, then this makes the prediction a true and faithful prophecy from God himself. After all, only the Creator knows the future beforehand, and proclaims it through his prophets and apostles. Daniel was a holy man, a chosen prophet and a man of God. He showed all the great powers and how their collapse and destruction will occur. In this prophecy, a rock was cut out and struck the statue on its feet, and all the great empires were destroyed, so that no trace was left of them. And the rock that struck the statue became a mountain and filled the whole earth. This is a clear prediction that all the kingdoms of the world, before the second coming of Christ, will be crushed by a blow from space. Christ prophesied about this, saying that Jerusalem will be trampled on by the Gentiles until the times of the Gentiles are fulfilled. The fulfillment of the times of the Gentiles is the destruction of the statue. The Lord Jesus Christ clearly warned us of great signs from heaven right before his coming. 
This will be the surest sign of his imminent return. There will be signs in the sun, moon and stars. On the earth, nations will be in anguish and perplexity at the roaring and tossing of the sea. People will faint from terror, apprehensive of what is coming on the world, for the heavenly bodies will be shaken. At that time they will see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. The word asteroid means like a star. Therefore, the predicted fall of stars before the second coming of Christ is the collapse of asteroids. Our planet has about 200 astroblums. These are stellar wounds from past space bombardments. They're ahead of time saying. But in those days, following that distress, the sun will be darkened, and the moon will not give its light, the stars will fall from the sky, and the heavenly bodies will be shaken. At that time people will see the Son of Man coming in clouds with great power and glory. The Bible reveals that in the beginning was the Word, and the Word is God, and the Word became flesh. God Himself came to earth in the appearance of Jesus Christ. Jesus sustains all things by His Word. The whole universe was created by Christ and in Him all things hold together. Jesus is the chief cornerstone of the universe. He is the foundation of the universe. Yet to all who did receive Him, to those who believed in His name, he gave the right to become children of God. Whoever believes in him is not condemned, but whoever does not believe stands condemned already. When mankind in its pride rejects the Creator, then the heavens will tremble, and stones will begin to fall from space. These terrible cosmic events and signs from heaven will destroy world powers and will put to shame all human pride and vanity. And then Christ will come. This is what Daniel prophesied about, that before the coming of Christ, the world powers will be crushed by the rock from heaven and there will be great shame, the destruction of all human pride and arrogance. In the book of the Apocalypse, we read that at the sixth seal stars already begin to fall from the sky, and we are talking about asteroid impacts. And then the trumpet planetary earthquake, the sun turned black, and the moon turned blood red, and the stars in the sky fell to earth. It's about the asteroid bombardment and the sky was damaged, and every mountain and island was removed from its place. People have taken refuge in bunkers in the mountains and say to the stones and mountains, Fall on us and hide us from the face of him who sits on the throne and from the wrath of the Lamb. These things are coming really fast, very quickly. Like the Lord said, exhilaration shall begin. Be ready, my brethren. Be watching, ready, and waiting, for we are going home. Shalom.